laser him. There it is. I think I saw one for 100 damage. Oh, he does have lots of health, though. Look how slowly it's going down. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to hit you in the face now. Okay, those do lots of damage when they land. The final dungeon is finally here. That means more mustaches than ever before. Tempted to add this one to the dungeon right away. Average the levels of all blessings. I'm gonna get that. Because on my way down through all five of the dungeons, I might get some blessings that I don't really want, but I can level them up and eventually transform those levels into the blessings I do want. And I'm not sure if it's worth hatching any of these new slaves. But since we're looking at new stuff, let's get a new one anyway. We're gonna take the little red hand with us. Curse Eater removes a curse after defeating enemies and stores it for later with the number 35 on it. I suspect these first three floors are going to be business as usual. Well, golden bombs, that's slightly better than what I had before. And we might as well give ourselves a curse right away since our little friend can take it away. We're going to go increase swing speed. So far, not much new to report on these floors. Bobo just threw himself over the edge, which is always amusing. But other than that, mostly just these idiots. Relic number two, chance on hit to poison your enemies. And I'm uh, also going to blow up this because I want the items. Keys and another potion. Average a number of keys and bombs. I already had one of those potions, but you can never have too many. Oh, what was that? Okay. Oh, that's a new curse. All ore is mined when entering a room, so any of the gold automatically deploys. And I'm not too worried about that because I already have too much gold. Hey, idiot, jump down the hole. Hopefully all of the shops have a lot of relics. Or none. None is almost the same thing. Except for that potion I did want. Average is the level of all blessings. So if I can get one of them really, really high, it should pull the rest of them up once I use that. And other ones down. You know what I mean. It averages them. A new something... Recipe, church bell, nectar. Shop number two on floor three, there's three full relics for me. I will take devotion, pray twice at altars, but I'm going to transmute the other two into something hopefully much, much better. Last suit might be fun because it makes me invulnerable to my own bomb blast, but I don't really use a lot of bombs, so I'm going to reroll both of those just once. Heal when praying at an altar. That one I do like because I'm going to be doing that a lot. And we're blowing it up, hopefully for something amazing. Yeah, food will sometimes duplicate itself. Time for some more curses. Deal more swing damage. Increase chance to critical. What's the star? Reduce the cost of shop items. That's interesting, but this one. And the actual relic on this floor leeches life from enemies slain by bombs. That's better than the gold one. I don't like the bomb upgrades very much, but I'll take it. Ooh, and we get a legendary right away. We'll go see what that is after we don't pick up that. Get a free item in every shop? Not gonna happen. This one, consume all current and future blessings and converts them into swing damage. I'm going to get that. Two major curses, that's probably worth it. Because already that's adding 48 damage. That puts me up to 122. That's huge amounts of damage. And our relic on the floor, thrown pickaxes duplicate themselves. Sure, why not? So with all this damage, I'm basically one-shotting everything around here. My damage is only going to go up from here. Plus my little helper's already eaten two curses. And the more of those he eats, the more damage he does later. We got a relic for duplicating gold. We don't want that one. I am going to take a purification potion you no, know, because removes all curses bombs keys and sets health to one that's for emergency use if need be later here's what i like choose between relics i'll take that one all day long um okay might have blown ourselves up at the end last time so we're gonna have to start the bosses there that's fine we've all seen them a million times i'm definitely mostly interested to see the amount of power i can have after five full dungeons now with all the relics and curses we can gather along the way speaking of relics here's our choice bomb damage is proportional to the number of bombs carried reduces physical damage probably that one my helper just leveled up and got rid of the mousetrap curse whichever one that was oh now it's firing lasers interesting attacks enemies with a deadly beam so once it levels up again i guess it gets even more powerful that depends and how many curses it's eaten, which is going to be a lot because I'm going to be feeding a curses all day long. Game, we talked about this. I need shops with relics. We found our first new enemy, crossbow guy. All right, well, they die just like the other ones do. Oh, my laser's going to town. Look at that damage. That's kind of fun. I just like it for the fact that I could be screwing around and it's going to be doing some damage for me. Anyways, let's take critical strike and then we're going to get rid of a curse. But then again, our curses aren't too bad yet. So I'm going to keep going until I get a bad one. This is all turning into damage anyway. Might as well take advantage of that. No relics at the shop, but the remove five curses potion. So that might come in handy later if I need to ditch five in a hurry. I just realized that splintering pickaxe thing, it happens after I hit something. I hit one thing, it splinters off and hits a second enemy. Kind of like a less good version of ricochet. These are both good choices. This one, don't pickaxe penetrates enemies and objects. That means it comes back slower, so I'm going to go for this. More swing damage and high health. While we're at it, let's get some more damage. So thanks to our legendary relic, we're up 80 damage. Two pretty good choices here. Kurt's stash, which we probably could open down the road, but I think we'll just take increased swing damage for now. Because you can never have too much of that, it's starting to stack up pretty quickly. I mean, it's already 190, and we don't even have a keyblade or anything. If we find something like that, we'll be doing ridiculous damage. That's another two stacks of damage here, so let's rephrase that. We're up to 200 nine damage already and in this room our little follower is about to eat another curse 
that one, whatever the vortex thing was. I think that was a major curse, so I'm happy to see that go. Well, at least we have one relic. It's nice to get some keys going again. Sometimes drop a new bomb when using an old bomb. Nope. It would be kind of nice to not fall in holes anymore. Let's try one more. All food is golden and extra delicious. We'll go for that one. Next shop, discover more secret rooms. Why not? We'll also take a potion for uh quicker leveling for my familiar because he only needs another four things to gain a little bit of experience. That'll put him pretty close to level three, I think. So one, two, three, five. Oh, and that did actually level him up. He's now fully leveled up red hand thing. So if he wants to fire a laser beam at any point, feel free. I've got an idea for how I'm going to handle this now. Since I've got one, two, three, six curses, I'm going to get rid of one right away and then drink this potion, which should eliminate all of them. And then I'm going to get one back for my little guy to keep working on. That way, he's still getting upgraded. I've still got all of my damage, but I only have one curse to worry about right now. His laser got a lot bigger. I want to see him do that again. Is it on a timer? Yeah, there we go. Doing 40 damage per tick, and those are coming out fast. Not as much damage as I'm doing, but you know what? It helps a lot. That'll actually be really good against bosses, and I can mostly just worry about not taking damage while he's hitting stuff. Increased health, increased health. We're in the next dungeon. Enemies still mostly dying one hit. It would be nice to have a few that increase critical hit chance and damage, but we'll see if we find those ones this run or not. Look at all the bomb guys in this room. Oh, they kind of hitched there. There we go. Wow, that actually goes across the entire room. That's super handy. Either fire projectiles of full health, which is kind of fun, but this unique swing relic attacks quickly without stopping. I'm kind of interested to see what this is. Interesting. Does that mean I double hit when I hit things for 222 damage? Let's test it. Oh, well, those kind of spread out right away. Okay, you stop hitting me for one. And... Okay, well, it dies in the first hit anyway, but I'm pretty sure I get back-to-back -back hits now. And I'll mostly let the laser do the rest of the work. My familiar is almost out of curses to eat, so let's give him a couple more to get started on. Three minor curses, none of which are too bad. I'm not wasting three keys on that chest. There's nothing I need out of it. My follower did just eat another curse, so it's doing more damage than ever before. If it wants to use its laser, though, that would be fine. I want to see the damage it's doing. Fire your laser. Or not. Well, it's a little late now. They're already dead. These bigger guys will be a good indication of how much damage I can do with my double swing. Yep, I hit them back to back super quick. And therefore, one shot them, one swing them. Next is either when healed, heal again, or like gold explode when it hits the floor. I'll take that. The very next floor, we can get ourselves some more damage. And we can even get rid of one of our curses right now because we don't need that many. And he's still happily working away on our final curse. Come on, relics. Well, we got one relic that I don't know if I've ever seen before. Return damage, but amplified. No thanks. I don't get hit ever by anything. This one I do like. Overstocks a shop. It didn't really give me anything this time, but it could have. Normally these skeletons are pretty annoying, but with this new double swing, I can actually just keep moving and walk right through them for the most part. See? Easy. The game just really, really wants me to have a lot of damage today. I did find the Keyblade, so we're going to take that. That's going to add, I think, 22 damage to my thing right away. Yep, so we're up to 290, almost 300 damage already. So, oh, here's the throw bow. This will be a good test. Okay, stop. I need to hit you. I need to hit you clean. Yeah, he dies instantly. So we're doing lots of damage. Gamer lady, I don't have time for you. Another fine relic at the shop. Detonate bombs when you feel like it. I'm not even going to pick that up because I want them to just kind of go off like when they're supposed to. That's too much thinking for me. I don't remember what the axe does, but that might help me with damage again. Increases swing size, but decreases swing damage. Uh, don't really want to take any damage away. Because I don't know if that's going to decrease it by like a percentage. And if it does, that would be a big damage loss. I'm just going to go with the boots. On to the crystalline cave. Crystalline Caverns. The enemies here should be a little bit stronger, but I think I've got the damage now that they're not really going to be a problem. So far, one-shotting everything. My little helper is one enemy away from eating a curse, so let's get him a new one. I'm going to get two curses there because he's about to eat one and I'm about to remove one with holy water anyways. Unless I get stacking curses, in which case I'm going to have to wait. Otherwise, he's going to eat one and not be working on the new one. Rooms like this are still going to be super annoying just because I have to, like, dodge everything. So if my little idiot wanted to use his laser at any point, you know, feel welcome what it's there for. These rooms could be fun because now it could be laser versus laser. But my guy doesn't seem to ever want to use his laser. Is that how it works? Do I have to hit something with my thrown pickaxe first? Yeah, there it is. He doesn't always hit things with his laser, but he tries. Uh, contemporary damage and picking up gold. So I can actually angle that so it works now that I understand how to use it. Three whole relics. It must be my birthday. If you can ignore the fact that there are three relics that I don't really want. I'm actually going to take items that sometimes duplicate themselves because if I stack some keys, well, every key I get is extra damage. So I'm just going to blow this up because I don't want either of those and take whatever we have after that. All right. Puts out fires immediately, but requires water. And the tent for healing at the start of a dungeon. We probably won't need that, but we still need to see the new dungeon. I assume it's going to be quite hard. Iron branch. Increase health, swing damage, and attack speed. I like all of the above. What's our damage up to now? 328. 
or just enough to kill everything really quickly so they don't have to annoy me as much as they normally do. If not, I'll laser them for my friend. Wow, I think that's the second time I've gotten one of these out of the second chest. Rare recipe, circle of transmutation. One relic and a couple keys. Destroying empty chests for items is a little bit tempting, but we're just going to take whatever we get now. Which is increased experience gain for a familiar, not at all important. But we have a potion for the secret shop, so we'll go there. There's also a secret out of this room, which actually just has a free blessing, so that's nice. That's easy extra damage. Secret shop just has more keys and bombs. I'll happily take those. Just in time, because my friend is about to eat the curse. Oh, they're stacking again. Well, I guess he's going to eat a whole bunch at the same time. Seriously, we just keep stacking this. Decrease the amount of gold received. I'm completely fine with that. These guys are new. They're summoning mummies or something. I don't know what the mummies do, but they take 400 damage when I hit them. All right, this shop has three relics for me. None of which I think I'm going to take. Mm, nope, none of those. And maybe some of these. Reduces throw damage, but increases swing damage. Yes, please. And King's Crown. Increase swing damage, throw size, throw speed. I don't need to find more treasure rooms. What I need is more damage. That can help me increase attack damage and speed when killing enemies. Yeah, it kind of helps. 417 damage now. 417. Resurrect on death or increase health and damage. Yes. Why does only the cheese glow? Increase throw size, become charming to rats. Well, we might as well just make our throw size bigger. I don't know what else to get there. That actually makes it quite a bit bigger. I figured I'd just let my laser take care of the rest of that and it worked. Though I do need that meat. Okay, here we go. You've got to be kidding me. I think they just want gold. Okay, those two just had an argument and took off running. I'm pretty sure I can just kind of... Well, we'll defeat the boss first and then we'll worry about whatever that does. So if I go underground here, it shows me the next area. I assume I can't walk in that, so I'm not even going to try for a potion. But we do need some healing and maybe also some relics. Okay, there's a few things to take from this room. First of all, let's get a bit of healing. Then, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to double my bombs. And then guess what? I'm going to do it again, which is going to give us 99 bombs. Can you guess what I'm going to do next? Average number of held keys and bombs. If we drink that, we go from 18 keys to 59, which gives us a ton of extra damage thanks for a keyblade. 536 so far. And uh, we'll take the coffee for now just because I like coffee. Then it's finally time for a boss fight. Given my damage, it shouldn't be too hard. The first thing I'm going to do is get my laser started and look at the chunks I'm doing already. All right, well, the laser might be a little bit delayed for this boss, but you know what? It means well. Okay, it's basically already almost dead. I wasn't even recording because I didn't really realize how much damage I was doing. And you're dead. It was actually about that fast. Oh, and there's a key I needed. I was wondering where I got that. That makes sense. Core key. And uh, some much needed gold. 9,000 gold for a new dungeon. I don't know if I can afford that. I mean, I didn't have to kill the boss. Well, I saved myself 9,000 gold. And you know what? I need every bit I can get. Down we go. Golden core one. I like it so far. It says gold. Yeah, those drop quite a bit of gold. Those are big nuggets coming out of there. Not that I need it again, but oh yeah, don't touch the lava. Ooh, what do we got here? Core map. Whoops. Okay, stop touching the lava. That's going to be an ongoing issue. I can already tell. We'll give our familiar a few more curses to work on. And also that's going to add quite a bit of damage to me again. So uh, we got some of the same enemies who just like the other floors walk straight off the edge given the choice. Oh, those bounce. I didn't realize that. All right, laser, go to work. I'll wait here. Very good. Well, that was the first room. Not too bad so far. It's just kind of a little bit hard to see things sometimes, but I have trouble seeing it the best of times. Increased damage when killing enemies. Why not? There were more of the laser guys. I always kill them right away because lasers hurt really bad and I usually don't even see them. I'm not sure how difficult these floors normally are, but I think due to my damage right now, I'm making them look a little bit easier than they normally should be. More of these mummy guys, but you know, I could just do this basically through the whole thing. Oh, that's new. My familiar now has eaten 10 curses, so he should be doing plenty of damage. I'll see if I can get him to hit one of these things. And there we go. Yeah, 85, 95. I saw 117 per tick. So 90 damage on average per tick. It seems like a lot of damage. Oh, that was 75 on average. That's still lots. I don't know if I want a battle standard. Yeah, I guess I do. That's going to help me clear out rooms right away. An elixir to restore all mixing health. That might be helpful for the boss I haven't fought yet. Lots of these laser guys on these floors. Not that I'm complaining. They're pretty slow and easy to kill with all this damage, but there are a lot of them. Oh, that's a new gargoyle thing. What does that do? And red bats. Oh, they charge in like that. Then they die. Fun. These are also new. What do you do other than die? Well, okay. I could see these being annoying if we weren't doing a lot of damage or had low health or something. Another shop, another relic I don't really need. More relic choices. Reduces swing damage. Nope, not gonna happen. Chance on hit to chain lightning. Absolutely. Is that a different throw bow? Oh, he throws firebombs. That would be annoying. Hey, you stop. Okay, got it. And I'm going to go ahead and open that chest because I'm going to need a new curse pretty soon. My friend's about to eat his. Give me keys. No keys. Average level of all blessings. Doesn't really matter to me. What was this one? Just to transmute. Uh, no, don't care. A room of flies and gargoyles. 
Those bouncing shots would be annoying because they bounce everywhere. And uh, I'm going to use the holy water right now to get rid of one of these two curses. Good, I got rid of the worst one. Then we're going to take another few for some more damage. Because as long as you have damage, you don't need anything else. So I receive more damage and deal less throw damage. I'm okay with that. I honestly don't care enough about either of those to pick either of them up. I'll come back if I find a transmute potion. So... I jump over this, not under the spikes. Oh, I see, I get it, yep, I get it now. Look at this guy, laser him. I'll wait over here, good work. Well, yeah, that works. I do like the look of this dungeon, I like it. One relic at the shop, let's get rid of a curse first. That's perfect, only one little one left that my friend is currently eating, six more enemies to go. Sometimes release a spray of daggers when you throw, whatever. All right, well, on to what should be the final floor of this dungeon, which should be just as difficult because I do 603 swing damage, 603. And look what the game was kind enough to give me on the last floor, deal even more damage when you critical strike. This is a new type room. I'm not actually going to go grab that because I've only got 31 enemies left before he's going to eat a curse. I'm not sure if there's 31 enemies left on this floor. I mean, there probably is, but I don't want to risk it. This one's got a throw bow, had a throw bow, and one of the big dragon things. I want to see if I can laser this guy. Even my throne pickaxe is doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, he blows up in parts. And then his tail blows up. Oh, he can regenerate from it. I see. All right, well, we're just going to kill him then before he gets too annoying. Pretty sure I saw one of my hits do a thousand damage though. Might not have been because they're all stacked together, but given that I'm doing 600 base damage, a thousand isn't inconceivable. My final relic. I guess we'll take Ricochet. You know, I do like Ricochet. I'm not doing throw damage this time, but I do like it. If anything, there's plenty of gold in this room. And another new whatever this is. Blessing discovered. Ferocity. A new blessing. I do like blessings. All right, gonna fight the final boss for the very first time. 620 swing damage. A giant salamander. Hope you like lasers. Yeah, very scary. Laser him. I said laser him. There it is. I think I saw one for 100 damage. Oh, he does have lots of health though. Look how slowly it's going down. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna hit you in the face now. Okay, those do lots of damage when they land. I'm going to eat one of these so I can get some health if I do get hit by something, but he's gonna be constantly being lasered this entire time. As long as I get close to his face, I can hurt him pretty bad. I think? How do I hurt you? Where do I touch you? touch. All right, this one's pretty difficult considering how much health I'm losing and how strong I am. Whoa, and how easy I made everything else look so far. Just gotta learn the pattern a little bit. He shoots black balls that explode. He comes my way. Those are gonna bounce around and really annoy me. Outstanding. I'm gonna try and, yep, get a few hits on him. Wow, he's really powerful considering. I actually thought I was just gonna like absolutely just destroy him once I found him, like walk right through him like I did the last few bosses, but nope, he almost had me dead. So I don't think I can hit it when it's doing its little smoke screen thing. Can I laser it though? No? Yeah, nothing happens. I just gotta wait for my opportunities. Ow. Like now. Wait. Yep. No, just gotta get... I don't know how close I can get without it hurting me. There it is. Alright, once I learned how to hit it, it wasn't that bad, but it did a lot of damage to me. That was actually way harder than I thought it would be. The damage definitely saved me there. If I didn't have my ridiculous damage, I honestly probably would have died. Three recipes. Starlight Sip. That's a rare recipe. What's this one? Recipe, Aether, Aether, I don't know, whatever that was. Rare recipe, Ambrosia, and then the boss token, and then I don't know what. You again? I've seen you a million times. You guys are going back to the surface. Those other people did run away though, so maybe they went back and it's part of the story. Apparently I get to keep Vorpal Blade, I didn't spit that one out. So, anything new with you guys? Can we talk about this new blessing? Increased critical strike damage, I could definitely have some fun with that. Oh, and I collected all these, open up. Let me in. Uh, yeah, by the way, I beat the thing. So he basically said I need to collect the five stones that unlocks the door. I'm pretty sure I've got all five stones because I've defeated all five bosses. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. Somebody let me know in the comments what to do.